welcome to msd learning world hello everyone so in this video we are going to see searching technique so you know what is mean by searching see for example suppose we want to search an item that we have kept already before uh, some days in our home so what we will do how will we find the item we start we start the searching from each and every room we try to search where they we kept that item we were doing only the searching process so now at last we will be finding the item in some place and we will try to take that item we don't know how much time that we take to find the item that depends upon uh, how we are checking how we are remembering the things where we have placed before so those all things are taken into our account to find a particular item we need to know the attributes of the item while we find what is the shape of the item and uh, before how many days we kept it so all those attributes we need to search a particular item so now we are going to make this uh, searching process to be integrated with the machine because whenever we need to find any file we instead of searching the file from one by one in the uh, directory we suddenly make this search in our uh, uh, local directory we try to give the file name and we try to search it wherever we go suppose if we if we have a list of uh, 100 names in the database we want to we want to not not even 100 names let us assume we have some 10000 names if it is a 100 name then we can sequentially find it but when we have a thousand names what we will do we, suddenly we will just give our name in the uh, find box and we will try to find it so whenever we finding we are making the system to perform a searching process so the searching process is an essential one for the system to find any type of uh, operations to find a data item or to find the file to find the directory to find any type of files it may be an image file or an audio file or an video file or simply a document so any database any database if we need to find the searching algorithm must be capable of finding any type of uh, files so searching is a very important application in the system so here searching can can be done in any number of ways one of the straight forward approach the brute force approach is the linear search linear search is nothing but sequential search one by one from left to right one after the other whether it is a list of elements whether that it is an uh, elements that are arranged sequentially in the arrays each element is searched from left to right one by one until we are able to find the item the item that we are finding is the key value or the target value that we need to find so now in this video we will see how that linear search is performing by using the brute force approach the other name for the linear search is also said to be brute force approach as well as it is also said to be exhaustive search or sequential search linear search is the sequential search where the target element that we need to find is searched sequentially by checking with each element one by one until we are finding the desired element and this is a this technique is an uh, simplest technique and it is very easy to implement and also this uh, searching technique has more number of comparisons linear search will always be used for the applications when we are trying to find or search an element only for lesser number of inputs only for such application the linear search will be used in general the linear search technique can be used both for sorted arrays as well as the elements that are not sorted arrays also so for both the unsorted and sorted arrays the linear search is applicable but only thing is that the element that we need to find is searched from the left to right one by one until we are finding the desired target element the input that is given to the linear search can be of two types one is suppose you can give the input as a single target value that you need to find from the database that is what is the target item the second type is that sometimes you can give a range of values where you can display the or find the set of all records that is satisfying this condition that is satisfying within a particular range so the linear search can be applicable by getting a target item 
or it can be displaying a list of records that satisfies the condition. When you give a target value, the index of the target item is uh, given. In the same way, when you have a range of values, the index of all the data items are also returned. But somehow the linear search will always perform the searching only from left to right from each item one by one until you are finding the desired target element. The advantage of this linear search is that it is a very straightforward approach and it is very simple to implement. And the other thing is that the number of elements that is given in the array can be either a sorted or it can be an unsorted array. For both sorted and unsorted arrays, the linear search is possible. The disadvantage of the linear search is that the, it, the efficiency is very low. It will take a, a long time to process and to find the index of the target value. And if suppose the element that you are given as a target is not found in the array, then it completely spend n number of times to completely check all the values to tell that the element is not found. And also even if the element is uh, placed uh, in any position in the array, somehow it will take n number of iterations or n by 2 number of iterations to locate the element. Exactly it is not possible to locate the uh, index of the element directly. It has to perform sequentially. So the processing time takes high. Let us see an example for linear search. Now the array contains 24019. You have 5 elements, so the index starts from 0 to 4. So now assume that the key element that you want to search is 1. So the first the k, k value is a key value and k will be equal to 1. So now it will search the first element 2 equal to equal to 1. It is not true. So it moves to the second position. 4 equal to equal to 1. It is not true. So the pointer is moved to this next location. 0 equal to equal to 1, the condition is not true, so it moves to the next location. Whether 1 equal to equal to 1, the condition is true, so at this time, the index is, is 3. So, 1 equal to equal to 1 condition is satisfied and the index of the element that is found is 3. So, index equal to 3, the location 3 is returned as the linear search value. So, here once the target value is found, the index of the element is returned. If the element is not find, then it will be returning as minus 1. Let us see the algorithm for linear search by using the brute force. So, here the input coming to the linear search algorithm is the array, comma the key value. So, you have to start your search for each item in the array. You are going to check whether the item is equal to equal to key. If the item is found, you are returning the index. This is what is the simple algorithm. Now, let us see in an expanded way. So, here initially the value array and the key is coming into your algorithm. You are setting the variable found as false. Then you are keeping the position as minus 1. Then you are setting the index also to 0. So, this index is nothing but from 0 to nth number you are going to perform the for loop or you can even implement in while loop. So, while index is less than the number of elements, the number of elements is n. And until the found is false, false is for found is already initialized for false. So, compulsorily for the first time when it is coming, i will be less than n. So, list of if the list of index is equal to the search value, then if it is if the condition is true, then you are making found equal to true and you are substituting the index value to position and you are returning the position. If not, you are incrementing the index and again you are checking whether index is less than n and compulsorily if the if loop is not executed, found is always going to be false. So, both the conditions will be true until the value is found. Then the second element is checked with the search value. If it is found, then the index is uh, uh, placed in the position and if found is enabled as true. And at last, once the found is true, then it returns the index. This is what is the linear search, one by one sequentially searching the each element in the array from left to right one at a time and returning the index of the target value that you have found. Now let us see the time complexity of the linear search. So in the time complexity, what is the worst case time complexity of the linear search? What is worst case analysis in the sense that the element that you need to find is present at the last element in the array. For example, in the given example, Suppose you have started from 3, 1, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. 
Suppose now here in this example you want to find the element 8. Then that is what is the worst case analysis. That means that you need to compulsorily find the search the element from the first element to till the last element to find the location of the 8. That is what is the worst case analysis. So in the worst case analysis here the system will start searching from the first value to till the end. So the time complexity for the worst case analysis is order of n. In the best case analysis of the time complexity, the best case analysis is that when the element that we want to search is the first element present in the array. For the given example, if the element that we want to search is 3, then it is what is the best case. With a single iteration, we are able to find the uh, target value. So that the best case analysis will be order of 1. Whereas the average case analysis is that the element that we need to find is present somewhere in between the first and the last position whether you are doing uh, 3 number of iterations or 4 number of iteration then it is nothing but order of n by 2 which is almost is order of n we does not know where the nth position is there. So somehow when the element is present at the average position in between the first and the last element the average case complexity of the time is also order of n. So the average case analysis and the worst case analysis of the linear search by using brute force is order of n and the best case analysis is order of 1. However, here we are using array of n number of elements. So, say space complexity is going to be order of n. So, in this video we have seen linear search, the uh, algorithm for the linear search along with an examples how the system is performing a linear search, how it is giving the index of the location of the target element. And we have seen how the algorithm is framed and the time complexity for worst case analysis, best case analysis and the average case analysis along with the space complexity. And the linear search can be used for many applications where whenever you have the input element as very low number of elements then you go for linear search. When you have a very large number of elements then the linear search become inefficient. So these are the things we have seen in this video. So do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.